Okay, ladies and gents, let's go. We have a free-for-all, force-nothing game. And on cue, Nick subs to the stream with the force-nothing alert. Uh, thank you, Nick. So this is not only force-nothing free-for-all with one of the best players in the world in Tato, but this is 256 times mod, which means that all texts can be researched 256 times. That means your lumber text can be researched 256 times. That means your farm text can be researched 256 times. Your fletching upgrade can be researched 256 times. Then you could get Bodkin Arrow 256 times. You could literally fire onto five other Age of Empires 2 maps that you can't even see here. You could fire off the earth, okay? It is totally possible uh, with this mod. Uh, so that's what we're building up towards here. Tato, of course, he loves Force Nothing. I just told the stream here that I'm giving him a Next Game Force Nothing t-shirt when I see him in a few days, actually. Uh, he's playing as the Spanish here in the blue. So he chose Spanish, huh? Hmm. He chose the Civ. I really wonder what he'll go with. Maybe he'll go with the Villagers, guys. <laughs> Maybe he'll go with the Villagers. Uh, we have Hussa rating. He's playing as the Huns in the yellow. We have the... We have Spanish for Balky as well. He's here in the gray. In the red, we have Adrian. He's playing as the Mongols. In the orange, we have Koreans for Street Pete. In the teal, we have Seaberg playing as the Vikings. In the purple, we have Baphomet playing as the Aztecs. In the green, we have Go Pit playing as the Mongols. And I like Mongols a lot on this. I think Mongols are probably one of the strongest because the Mangadai unit gets incredibly strong as is with all their upgrades in a regular game. But if you can just multiply the thumb ring upgrade and the bracer upgrade and the chemistry upgrade and Parthian tactics and bloodlines, all those upgrades you get for the unit, it's strong. So that's that's one reason to like Mongols. Another reason to like Mongols is their fast siege. So who knows what's coming? I, I don't know what we'll see from Koreans. Oh, wait. Street Pete. What's this? What did he just do? Why? Um, you know what? I bet you Street Pete thought that this was a Feudal Age start, which is kind of funny because he's the host of the game, so he would have known that it was Dark Age start. And I believe he wanted to delete his TC and then build a market. Uh, unfortunately for him, he, he can't do that. He's in Dark Age. Now, what's funny is he has the wood and the stone to rebuild the TC, but he doesn't have the space, so he has to cut the space. <laughs> it's all right. No one's no one's judging, right? We would never judge. We would never judge. Another lumber camp. What is he doing? Well, you won't hear about this strategy on the street, Pete. Why is he building two lumber camps? I don't get it. I mean, it would make sense if he was in feudal. And then he could get his Lumber Camp upgrades, but you can't do that. It's Dark Age start. So, anyway, um, we'll see. Tato says my resources are bugged. <laughs> Street Pete says my map is bad as well. Street Pete says he has zero wood. Yeah, exactly. Well, Tatito, uh, he's going to have the best gameplay here, and he's microwing his Lumberjacks. This is more difficult than you would think. Sing me a song tonight, for my farms are dead, <laughs> are a dread, and I'm not getting rigged tonight. Wait, that, that's not cool. That whole thing was beautiful until you said my farms were dread. Come on, Gundrick. <laughs> Thank you. That was that was well played. It was well written. Thank you for the for the ten months. But uh yeah, Tato is cutting space for farms here, guys. He's cutting space for farms, and that's the problem. And force nothing, what'll happen is uh, I'll use I'll use uh yellow as an example. This villager, yeah, watch. These villagers will finish this tree, and then they'll go to another tree. Watch. Yeah, so they go somewhere random. And so you have to micro them to cut the same direction so you can make space for farms. And already Tato has his first farm. Uh, green is pretty close, though. So Tato doesn't have a huge lead. Obviously, on Force Nothing, there is no gold. There is no stone. There is only trees. And so you need to chop that wood. And then farm, get to feudal age, and then build a market. And once you get the market up, you can sell the wood for gold. 
Now, the strategy here is to A, make farms and then use your food to uh, create more vills. Or you can do what Tato did here, and you cannot create any villagers at the start. You can create that farm, wait for the food income, and click up to feudal faster than everyone. And then you can build that market in feudal age and sell and get the best price from the market. So Tato is, has not created vills like everyone else in this game. He is just stuck with... Uh, Okay, so I see I see what Street Pete's doing, but he's stuck with his TC and just his 11 bills. So Street wanted to farm, and I guess he'll rebuild his TC later. So it's a similar idea, I guess. However, he created more villagers. So while he's going to chop more trees, he will not be in feudal age as fast as Tato. And now Tato's on the way up. All right. Amazing learn, guys. Amazing learn with Tato. <laughs> People really want an amazing learn emote on Twitch. I don't know what I could do. Maybe we have... Oh, wow. There's actually a Twitch account now, which is amazing learn. Someone hopped right on that. That's funny. Well, that's going to be uploaded to YouTube uh, in a few days. So if you missed that on the stream, then uh, that will be available. Yeah, I guess we could use four emote slots to just have like... An amazing learn. I, that would be worth it. Just a bunch of text saying amazing learn. What is this map? Uh, it's Arabia. It's Arabia, as you can see. Lots of variety. Lots of different strategies available. Okay, so I believe what Tata will do here is delete his TC. Um, keep in mind, he has the wood for the TC. Yeah, he deletes his TC. Now he'll build a market. There we go. Okay, so sometimes players will make the mistake and they'll sell too much wood. Tata will sell some wood. Okay. Top left are his resources. Okay, and then he bought food. Uh. Oh, oh, wow, watch this. Watch this. Tato will now make the lumber camps in feudal, get double bid axe three times. So now his lumberjacks are going to be three times more efficient. And he could even get it more than three, of course. F make four times? Will be five times? Will be six times? He could just continue to do this. So Tato's lumberjacks in his 256 times mod are going to be so much more efficient than everyone else's. So watch how quickly they chop. If you follow my cursor, I'm pointing out where exactly the wood is. Yeah, that's crazy. It will only get faster as well. The Tato is insane with Force Nothing, guys. And I guess he'll probably rebuild the TC here once his research is finished. And then he can create more Vills. Yep. Wow. Like, the guy makes it look so easy, you know? It, it seems like common sense when you see it from a spectator point of view. But, you know, everyone else, they could be in trouble here. Tato's bottom score right now. But just imagine what his villagers will do once he creates more of them. How does a pro player have the meta for Force Nothing so down? It's Tato, Legless Alex, that's why. <laughs> the other day, oh, it was yesterday, I think. It might have been yesterday, or it was recent at least. Ah, uh, Turtle Strong, that stinks. Turtle Strong, uh, enjoy work, man. It's all right, this game will probably be on YouTube. So anyway, I was streaming, and Tato was streaming as well, and one of his fans came to my stream and said, Hey, uh... Hey Tristan, Tato's playing Force Nothing, play with him. And so I didn't believe him, so I went to Tato's stream, and Tato's in the midst of a grueling Force Nothing battle. And I know he's been obsessed with it for a while. And uh, I resubbed to his stream, because I'm a sub there. And uh, immediately after I, I resubbed, Tati's like, T90, let's play, man! <laughs> There's a clip of it. T90, let's play! 14! <laughs> he's in the middle of a three-hour game. T90, let's play more! Let's play more! I can't do the best Tato voice, but I love Tato and his enthusiasm for learning the game. A guy just threw a gallon of milk at my head. How dare Happy one year, my friend. How dare Get it? How dare Furterer, thank you for the whole year, man. That's awesome to see. Thank you. I, I can appreciate how much I've rubbed off on you over the year as well. His, his dad joke ability has definitely gone up. Has definitely gone up. I remember he was, he was not the best at... 
one year ago. Uh, so Tato builds another lumber camp for another double bid X upgrade. And he'll have the resources to do this again as well. So the idea for him is that his villagers will just be more efficient. And I think he'll use villagers all game. I don't think he'll make paladins. I think he might go for Spanish Vils as his uh, as his military. Okay. Well, so far, so good for Tato. I apologize for not looking at the others, but let's face it, you're not going to match up to Tato. <laughs> we'll have to wait until you guys have something more thrilling to talk about. That was so rude. So rude. Uh, Seaberg is in Feudal soon, and he could get his Lumber Camp upgrades. He could also build a market. And Street Pete will also be in Feudal. Now, keep in mind, they all still have more villagers than Tato. Convaulted Mess, Asivad, Bunny Warren, thank you, sub gifters. Kat Vertil, thank you for the Prime. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube today, it has been insanely hype. I don't know why exactly. I don't know if I'm bringing a certain level of energy to the stream, but people have been really generous today, so I will have to catch up with those alerts. I started playing O2 again with my family over Thanksgiving, but it's your videos that have inspired me to start playing it again regularly. Jaden, that's awesome to hear. So can you tell me what the setup was like? Did you have like grandma and grandpa on one end of the land table and then you and your sister on the other end of the land table and you're, you're fighting your grandparents? Matt, how come you always show up to my stream? during force nothing game just you realize that i maybe i just have more time to look at chat and i see you more often but i swear like every time well not every time of course but a majority of the time i see you it's force nothing man no matt don't do this no was that a hundred that's a hundred I was just making fun of the guy. I gotta make fun of him more often. Jeez. Well, um, it's kind of hard to see what happens if you are watching on YouTube. But when gifted subs happen, there's a lot of chat that doesn't show up on screen there. And a uh, hundred happy people and everyone else are going crazy. My goodness, dude. My goodness. Again, what has happened today? It is a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday, guys. Midday on a Wednesday, and I'm casting for is nothing. Jeez. Well, thank you guys uh, very much. Again, I, I've been overwhelmed consistently by everyone uh, over the past year, so you guys are crazy. Tato has countless double bid axe upgrades. Look how quickly he's shopping here. Look at his, vill his villager. Ducks! Oh my goodness. Dux says, when you read this, you will be at 5k subs. And did we just hit 5,000 Twitch subs? I can't tell. I, I actually cannot see the command because things are going so crazy right now. I, I imagine we did, unless Dux can't count. 5,000 Twitch subs. Goodness gracious. Oh boy. Well, uh, so I think this would be a good time to announce that I'm, I'm going to be taking a three month break away from streaming. So it's been a fun time guys, but it's time for me to take my three month long vacation. So, uh, really appreciate the support, but uh, I'll be heading out tomorrow. I'll be back in mid March. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll be gone for three days and I'll be back. I'm trying to track how many double vidx upgrades Tato has here. Because he... He keeps getting them. You notice how he's not going to Castle Age. So he, he's, he's getting wheel now. Okay, look how quickly his Lumberjacks are chopping. So 0 to 13 wood immediately. And he's getting wheel, so his villagers will carry a bit more next as well. Hmm. This is fascinating to me. This is really fascinating to me. I bet you at the 50 minute mark, Tato will have cut so much more than everyone else. Look how quickly Tato's villagers 
chop in comparison to green. Uh, so we have Tato. Okay, here's an example. Boom! Immediately to 13 wood. Now look at green. Okay, that was a bad example. Why is it not showing up? Oh, I'm not on a... Hold on a second. I'm, I'm a noob caster. Here we go. You see, that? that's much slower. That's much, much slower. So Tata will cut through this map in an instant. <clears throat> so I obviously made the joke about taking a break. The honest thing is, is I'm just blessed that... Like, this is what I like to do. If, if you were to be like T90 three years ago, T90, what do you like to do most? This would have been my answer, right? So no matter how well I do with this, uh, you guys are honestly just putting me in a position to do it more. It's not its not the other way around where I do well with streaming and then I, I pursue other passions and do other things. This is legit what I like. like I'm obsessed with Age of Empires uh, and I'm obsessed with streaming and making videos. So when I say thank you, like I just basically to me, it's another day, another month, another year that I'd be able to do what I love. So, um, so Teal's doing okay here, actually. He, he's chopping pretty quickly, and, you know, Vikings are helpful because he gets free wheel, but do you guys know if the wheelbarrow stacks? Yeah. I don't know if the, the free wheel stacks. Because you get, as Vikings, you get free wheelbarrow starting in Feudal Age. Okay, he's get, he's researching it now. You just get it once. Okay, that's good. Yeah. But he's not doing too bad himself. He does have uh, less villagers than Tato, though. And Tato has definitely chopped more trees. We could actually look at the economy, right? Look how much more wood Tato has chopped. That's insane. That is insane. It's almost double of everyone else. Okay. Well, in this mod, you will never need trade. Not that they could do it. All you need to do is sell. Okay, now Tato is in the next stage and he'll make TCs. So, so Tato will continue to get double bid X upgrades. And then he will continue to create villagers. And so this this is going to be crazy. Like, Tato is going to chop this whole map before others are an imp. <laughs> at, at this rate, really. I mean, all of his lumber camps are researching double bid axe again. And this will just get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Wow. At Kirak, this is 256 times mod. So all text can be researched 256 times. Well, I fear for everyone else, especially yellow and green, because they're so close to Tato. Yellow is much closer. Now, remember, this is with the old data set. So, Spanish, while they get Onager, they cannot cut trees with Onager. So, what you would need is Siege Onager, and there are a few civs, like Mongols here, that can do that, Aztecs that can do that. The other civs can't. Huns are the... I mean... I guess the, the benefit of having Huns is no houses, right? But, uh... Yeah, he's gonna. It's probably gonna die to Tato. Tato doesn't need Onager when he can chop a tree in one second. Again, look how quickly. Look, look! Instantly to 20 wood. Instantly! <laughs> she goes to 20 wood with one chop. <laughs> That's crazy, man! <laughs> this is gonna be so fast. It's gonna get faster, too. It's gonna get faster. Alright. Um, now. Is it worth it? I think this is where you'd want to get wheel again, because wheelbarrow affects just how much, how many resources your uh, villagers carry. Because you're you're just one shotting the trees now, so you would want to get more wheelbarrow upgrades. And Tata's doing that, okay. Now the villagers will get faster as well. So what Tata's probably shooting for is this upgrade here. Remember, I'm bad with tech trees. Okay, Supremacy. Villagers have exceptional combat abilities. <laughs> and he also gets sappers. Villagers cause 15 damage when attacking buildings. Itata will just go with Vils. And you could also stack the loom upgrade as well. So you could you could uh, have tankier Vils than units. Okay, look at Tato's base. This is where his main TC was. Look at his base. Then look at Yellow's base in comparison for chopping. Look at Gray's base. Look at reds, then back at tattoos, and it'll only get crazier. Victorious, man. 50 bucks, goodness. Nah, man, I can't do that. Okay, who's researching spies here? 24-7 stream with T90 would just be bad. 
let's be honest. Like I, 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 uh, I can put a certain level of energy into my streams for a certain amount of time, but, but 24/7, yeah, no thanks. I mean, unless you want face cam or bed cam, we could have T90 bed cam, so you could see me sleep. That would be awkward. Maybe that's where our Twitch is going. Who knows? Now that that's that stream is only available to my really premium clients, Kappa. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Stop it. You know, I hate I like the T90 creepy mote, but when people use it in scenarios like that, it actually creeps me out. Truman show, yes. You know, fun T90 story time. So I don't know if you've ever seen the Truman Show chat, but you definitely should watch it. It's an amazing movie. Uh, I so for some reason growing up, I had suspicions that my life was like the Truman Show when I was younger. I just felt like like I was in the Truman Show. And then my family showed me the movie. And I my my 10-year-old mind was really thinking about this. I thought that there was some next level troll and my life was like the Truman Show. And they were showing me a movie called The Truman Show to show me what my life was like to see what my reaction to it would be. <laughs> so I was like, wait a second, this is me. And they're just showing me what exactly my life is like. So anyway, I, uh, I obviously realized that I am, I, the world is a big place. I'm not that important. The world does not revolve around me. The world revolves around Force Nothing. And now Tato's villagers, I can barely click them. Let's see, from zero to a hundred wood in one click. And he's on his way to the Imperial Age. Dead farm noise is getting annoying. <laughs> uh, so he's gotta go for villagers, right? He's, sold, he's selling his wood for gold. He has so much gold. And look at the mini-map. He is so much faster than everyone else. This is why I did 256 tech, because I wanted it to be a Tata versus everyone, basically. It wouldn't surprise me to see Tata just build one castle, get supremacy, and then build TCs for more bills. And just go 200 population, all bills. The VIP only kitchen cam is amazing, so we can watch you cook salmon. Yep, I... This is true. You know, I had to delay the stream by 15 minutes today, Bunny Warren, and people were in the chat saying, Oh, T90's probably eating salmon. <laughs> Dude, I was eating salmon. Like, I was sitting here eating salmon the whole time. <laughs> like, you guys were right. It was so funny. Everyone was speculating, Oh, he's probably eating salmon. I was. I, that's why the stream was delayed. I had salmon, I had rice, and I had avocado. I was sitting right next to my computer chowing down, man. Okay, so Tato researches... Uh, spies which unfortunately on this mod you can do uh for very cheap so he can he can now see everyone thank you hera can you talk to us about different kinds of salmon well i i have actually had a a lot of people email me i guess people have heard me talk on youtube and twitch enough about salmon where they email me or, or whisper me on twitch and they've given me input on the types of salmon like there's there's actually a viewer who apparently salmon farms and so he was telling me the differences between all the types so uh, if you had to choose between Norwegian and Chilean Chilean is better according to the people who message me so so Tato his farmers are carrying so much food that he had to ring the bell to drop off the food because they'll hold on to the food until they have four or five hundred something ridiculous but again he's one shotting trees now and his villagers are moving so ridiculously quick look at the other villagers Tato has cut 10% of this map and he's not finished. He's still creating vills. So what he has to do is refresh lumber camps non-stop. So you'll see him doing this. New lumber camps, new lumber camps, new lumber camps. It's crazy. <laughs> this is amazing. And okay, there's supremacy now. So he's getting it a, a few times. And he's also getting conscription as well. So look at his villager. Look at the stats on his vills, guys. Look at his vills. He has 3 plus 12 attack, and look at the armor. Did we lose subs? Did people unsub to the stream? <laughs> we went above 5k, 5k and we dropped a few. Well, I guess that makes sense, right? Because, 
you know, people sub, I stream a different days every month, right? So someone probably subbed last month who hasn't continued, just how it works. And Zato has 22k score. The second highest is, uh, is Seaberg with 10k score. <laughs> Eldry, thank you for gifting that those subs to solve the problem. My goodness. Say hi to Sai. Says, I got a sub today. Yay. Enjoy, man. Congratulations. A28 is here. A28 wasn't here the whole community game stream today. And then we get into Forest Nothing and he shows up, of course. Tato has 168,000 wood and 10,000 gold. And he keeps getting loom. So his vill. Oh my goodness, look at the stats on his vills. Look at his vills, guys. 500 HP. 500 HP. 45 attack. These guys have been drinking those protein shakes. Goodness. And meanwhile, Green's on the way to Imp. <laughs> Green's like, oh no. <laughs> poor, poor Green. Green's at 3,000 score. Can, can we get some some love for Go Pit in the Twitch chat? <laughs> He's like, we got this. We got this. We're on our way to Imp. We're on our way to Imp. This is no problem. That's funny. And Tata just keeps chopping. This is like... Uh, Finding Nemo instead of just keep swimming. It's just keep chopping. I'm not gonna sing. Trust me. You don't want that And he, he's continuing to get upgrades on his bills. So every time I look back at them, they'll be ridiculous 3 plus 66 3 plus 66 attack 630 HP So you wonder why Tatha chose Spanish, huh? Well, it seems pretty obvious to me. This is crazy and he'll be into yellow's base before you know it and yellow can't kill the villagers. Now the downside of the villas is that it's really awkward to fight with them because you can't patrol them. You have to click them. But this is Tato versus the world. Tato versus the world. And this is an ex insane economy. I, I feel slightly bad because normally I try and focus on all the players. but And Teal's, Teal's been doing good in second place. But Tato, this is something else. T90 official, what does the camel say? Oh, That's what the camel says. Elite Conquistador? Conquistador's cheating, man. Nah, he's not researching Conquistador, right? Oh, he does. Maybe to snipe the king. He has two Conquistadors. You know, he just rang the bell to drop off food, and he went from zero food to 7,000. <laughs> You guys will have to remind me to check his farmers because I want to catch them when they're carrying the food. So, uh, no barracks for Tato. So, he has no stable, so he can't get husbandry 256 times for his conquistadors. Can't get bloodlines. He's just working on the bills. He will soon have 100 attack on villagers. Okay, this is Yellow's point of view. <laughs> this is Yellow's point of view. Wish to be in these community games, but cannot even beat hardest AI four v four. So we are going to look at Yellow's point of view as <laughs> Tato <laughs> chops into his base. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Tato? What are you doing here, man? <laughs> now Yellow is enemy to Tato, but I don't see how I can possibly kill him. <laughs> If this continues, Tattoo could actually just cut all the wood. Oh my goodness, did you see how fast that was? Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so quick! Yellow didn't even stand a chance. Yellow created one Tarkin, man. One Tarkin. <laughs> and then Tattoo just continues to chop. He just sends more villagers. This is like an AI right now. Sends more villagers to build the lumber camp. This is amazing. Look how quick these vills are. This is nuts. He is a machine. He is an absolute force nothing machine. All right, well, 
I guess on to gray next. Sato sees everybody, so he's going to green. He's going to gray. Fortunately, the second strongest player, Teal, is on the other side of the map, so at least he might have time to build something up. But Tato is chopping quickly here. Alan, I wouldn't stress too much about your skill level, man. Uh, I would I would try and join community games if you want to. Because you said you wish to be in the community games, but just do it, man. Just do it. You might not win. You might be like poor yellow. I feel bad for the guy, but um, it's it's good to get involved. Especially in free-for-all games and diplomacy games, at least when Tato's not involved. You can have some allies, have some friends, and believe me, the way I cast, I try and talk about everybody. With, with, this game is the exception, though. There are some players I haven't really talked about much, because, well, the focus should be on Tato here. Crazy. <laughs> I like how... Okay, so this is Gray's point of view. Gray's getting double bit axe. He's thinking, oh, let's get some more double bit axe upgrades, because... We need to chop through the wood. Ah! <laughs> and Tato's already there. Tato's already there. Oh, man. <laughs> he says, uh-oh. <laughs> Look how quick these bills are in comparison to his eco. This poor guy. And here comes Tato. Say goodbye to the TC. Say goodbye to the king. Wow. You see how fast the villagers run? And Tato then will build another lumber camp and just keep chopping. Just keep chopping. So two down. A five to go for Tato. He has not been rivaled yet. He has three kills and zero deaths. And uh, Orange is being attacked by Teal. And these Berserks have 100 HP. 14 plus 13 attack. And normally this would be exciting, and I'd be like, wow, so much attack. But we've already seen Tato's villagers. <laughs> but I think Orange is going to die to this. I really don't see what he can do now against Berserks. War Wagon's certainly not going to cut it. So I guess the downside for many of these players is that they, they waited a long time to build up to this point. And they're, they're just building up to die, but... My goodness, what a funny game here. Yeah, so it is Seaberg and Tato in the lead for sure. Like No one else is even close. Alright, Green's point of view. <laughs> GG, Street Pete. Green's like, oh, let's chop through the trees. I think Tato's over here. We can make some Mangadai. Make those Mangadai, mass those Mangadai, snipe those kings. That's a great strategy. I saw it once in a T90 community game. And then Tato just cuts right through... Tato is most certainly going to kill GoPit23's king. Uh, guys, sorry about the pause here. During the stream of this, the game actually dropped, and uh, that was because Street Pete was our host, and he was just killed off by Seaberg. Uh, so what I had to do was get the recorded files from Tato and continue to cast this one. And let's, let's just get right back to it. <laughs> Needed to stitch this one together because it's just simply too ridiculous. Look how quickly Tato's villagers are moving. And how strong they are. Almost 200 attack on these things. And uh, Go Pit's response is... Oh, make a manga die. Yeah, eight, uh, 10 attack. Let's go. Yeah, queue up those manga die, Go Pit. You can do it, dude. It's Hato. He's not having any of it, man. He wants to find that king. The king is inside the TC. And with just a few hits, the king dies. And then he gets one-shotted by Tato's Vils. Insane. <laughs> like, this whole thing is just so fascinating to me how Tato's able to figure this out as a pro player. Uh, now, this is where they saved the game. Or I think they will save here in a second. Actually, during the stream, Tato was telling me as they were trying to save that someone was AFK. I think Purple was AFK. Or maybe he was focused, though, because he, he seems to be doing stuff. But we'll see this out. And I do have the second part to the wreck to finish off this amazing YouTube video. He actually has decent upgrades on his Jaguars. 10 plus 13. That's normally pretty good. Uh, not very good versus Tato's villagers, though. <laughs> oh, no! I think it was Red that was AFK Tato. He chopped through, and they killed Red, and now they could save. That's funny. They actually had to continue. Red was the one that wasn't there. Maybe he got up to get a drink of water. He figured he'd be fine, because all these other civs didn't have Siege on Azure. 
Uh, not gonna happen, Red. Let me just toggle over to the next part of the game. Again, I do feel bad that this happens, but you know what? What happened happened, right? Tato, he needs to finish off these people. Hey, you never know. You never know. Teal is making berserks, and he is the second strongest. He has uh, 14 plus 13 attack. He has 103 HP. <laughs> Again, normally that'd be pretty good, but uh, Tato is here. And Tato just needs to cut a gap in the wood line. That is inevitable on both sides when he's cutting and moving this quickly. And he will go right in for the kings. And I don't think that Purple or Teal have the speed to keep up with Tato or the firepower to kill Tato's villagers. Uh, go Pit, getting some kills there despite being dead. Tato has Vils here, and he has Vils here, and he's so close to Baphomet's base. Baphomet getting some upgrades. He has 30 attack now. He's getting armor, and he's getting attack. He's probably feeling pretty good about this. Now, this is his point of view. He does not know exactly what Tato's up to. He does not know how Tato's been killing people. And he sees the villagers, and at first thought, like everybody else, he might be thinking, oh, it's just Vils. That means he can run in with his paladins or conquistadors or whatever he's making. It's just villagers. That's not a problem. Teal over here, he's probably thinking it's just villagers. That's not a problem. Well, it is a problem, Baphomet. <laughs> it is a big, big problem. Tachi just hasn't made a move yet. And Teal's keeping an eye on him here. I, I think Tato could... Well, it's, it's kind of hard to say, but maybe three or four shot a castle at this point? How quickly was the TC? It was three shots? Well, if Tato's still getting upgrades, they should be stronger. And oh my goodness! This is insane! They're both so quick! These units are teleporting around. Tato is clicking the berserks. I, I think he's one-shotting the berserks. My goodness! The teal doesn't stand a chance. Tato's laughing. Let's see if I can follow the bills. Ah! Ah! That's so fast! That's so fast! Usain Bolt of Villagers. The king is normally the fastest unit in the game. The king looks so damn slow now. Is Tato here as well? Oh, Tato's here as well. Uh, it looked like a one shot on the TC. There's the king. And Tato is focusing on purple as well. And it's hard for me to focus on both sides, but I think we know exactly what's going to happen here. Once Tato sees the king and clicks the king, the king's going to die. Uh, Purple's king is right here to the north of this. And Teal's king is inside that town center. Ah, oh, yeah, go ahead. Build a castle, Teal. That's going to help the situation. Oh! Teal's actually trying to hit Tato. It's actually a great decision to try. Tato's castles have 60,000 HP, though. <laughs> so, the, yeah, that's just not going to happen, buddy. But props for going for it. You know, if you snipe Tato's king first, the, that's really your only chance here, because you're not going to keep yours alive for very long. Tato's king is in this castle. Uh, perhaps it wasn't here earlier. But yeah, purple gets defeated by Tato. And uh, I, where was it? I, I didn't even see it. Where was Teal's king? I, I I can't even see the body. He I think he died here. I think he died right here. Kind of looks like that could be him. But isn't it just amazing, guys, how you have one of the best pro players in the world. Most pros are not a fan of these wacky games. Most pros are not a fan of these wacky settings. But you have Tato, and he completely masters it. He realized that if you get the Lumber Camp text fast enough, if you prioritize that more than anything, you can chop through the whole freaking map. And he chose Spanish. His villagers ended up having 3 plus 324 attack and 2,350 HP. And look at the armor. I mean, these villagers are possibly stronger than any unit you could make in uh, this game mode. Just thinking about it now, you have the Persian War Elephant. Um, they have about 600 some HP. Uh, you could get bloodlines 256 times, so you could, let's see here. Oh boy. 
no math on video, no math on stream, but but even still, I think the villagers would eventually have more HP, right? About 20 HP times 250, that comes out to um, uh, 500? No, wait, wait, five, five, five. hold on. I got to do the math here, make sure I'm not looking like an idiot, okay? I'm actually going to pull out a calculator. 250 times 10. It wh Wait, two, what am I thinking? 250 times 20, <laughs> 5,000. Okay, I had it down. I just missed a zero. I <laughs> just missed a zero. So, okay, the elephants would have more HP. Now, the armor and attack, uh, that could be pretty insane as well, I suppose. So maybe not. But the, you know what? The villagers were the most impressive, certainly more impressive than my math. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, normally, when I'm doing a community game on a stream and there's a drop like that, then I it doesn't see YouTube. And I don't take the time to re-edit it and render it all together. But this one was simply too special. I had to show the world this one. So uh, I'm glad I could get it to you guys. If you guys are interested in checking out the stream in the future, I'm sure you've heard before. The Twitch link is below in the video description. But of course, if you're not a stream kind of guy or kind of girl, that's fine. Uh, the YouTube videos will keep coming. And thanks again for watching this one. And you guys have a great day. Well, hold on a second. We, we have to look at the Chiefs. Okay, 76 kills for Tato. Zero deaths. <laughs> His largest army was five. I remember him making a few conquistadors. He chopped almost a million wood. Almost a million wood. That's crazy. That is crazy. The game wasn't even that long. Uh, Technology-wise, he had 204 researches. Okay, I'm glad that this I'm glad that this has come up. His research percent was actually 190%. That's only possible with 256 times mod. 204 researches. So there's potential for more, just that he could so easily kill people off even before he got to 256 and beyond. Uh, Villager High was 165, total castles was 14 for him. And you know, if you think back. Remember Tato had less villagers than everyone else? Look at the timeline here. There's less blue here. And there's certainly less dark blue throughout the whole game than everyone else's dark color. But uh, basically that man means he had less economy. But look how quickly that spiraled out of control for him. That was awesome. That was awesome. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. Now the video is actually going to end. And I will see you in the next Age of Empires 2 video. Have a good one.